I know you took my sandwich, dude. I didn't take your sandwich. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. <laughs> Bro, I'm watching you eat it. When the house started shaking, I knew it was gonna be bad. But I had no idea it was gonna be this bad. Somebody stole my tank. I don't know who it was or what they wanted, but they were clearly trying to destroy my house. What do we do? I don't know. Yo, you guys figure something out. I'm gonna go buy us some time. That tank was the most powerful thing I've ever built. And now, I was gonna need to build something strong enough to destroy it. Yo, build a mech suit. That's it? Mech suits are crazy powerful with their armor and their weapons? Let's go! Okay, if I'm gonna build a robot mech suit, I'm gonna need some sort of legs or vehicle to make me move. And lucky for me, I've got the perfect piece of equipment that I've been waiting on the right moment to use. These treads are super sick and they've got mech suit written all over them. Okay, so now that we've got a way to move this thing, we gotta start building a frame. You know, it's times like this where I'm really grateful that I have a superhero for a roommate. Cause while I'm in here building a mech suit to defeat this tank, Soxus is out there holding down the fort. I mean, without him, our house would totally get destroyed. Okay, now that we've got a frame for all of our electronics, it's time to install the batteries and the motor. And lucky for me, I had an old motor lying around. I wasn't exactly sure if it was gonna be strong enough to move these big beefy treads, but I guess I just had to cross my toes that it worked because I didn't really have another motor lying around. Okay, I've got this rat's nest of wires roughly set up right now. No, I've never worked with treads like this before, so fingers crossed it works. Okay, you guys ready? Send it. Key in ignition. And... Go! Yes! Okay, so this thing is actually insane, but we still have a lot of work to do. For starters, I gotta put some support wheels back here, and those will also be responsible for the steering. And then I need to build a battle suit that goes on top. But in order to build a steering assembly, I'm gonna need a steering assembly. And unfortunately, I don't have a steering assembly. So I went inside to buy a steering assembly. So while I wait for that to arrive, I'm gonna keep working on whatever I can. I mean, there really wasn't much I could do, so I built a chair. I, I needed a chair anyway, because I, I, I gotta sit down somewhere, but like, yeah, it's, that's it. Okay, so I now have a decent place to sit, but unfortunately, there's not much else I can do to this build until I have my steering kit. Okay, so now that I have the steering kit, steering, steering, you ever say a word a bunch of times and it just starts to sound like nonsense? Steering, steering, What? what is that? Now that I've got the steering set up down here, I've gotta run the steering wheel up here. And I still need to install wheels on the back. So it took a little bit of finessing, but I got it to work. Now the only thing I needed now was to get some wheels on this thing. Steering. What are you looking for? I could have sworn I had a pair of wheels in here. I know where the wheels are. For real? Where? I'll tell you. But first, you must answer my riddles three. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. <sighs> Fine, here. Okay, the wheels are on. It's time for a test run. Oh, God. Oh, 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 Okay, uh, we got a bit of a problem. My accelerator is way too sensitive and it's making it really hard to control my speed. So I swapped it out with a handlebar throttle and since I didn't have handlebars, I just strapped it to the top of the steering wheel, which was kind of awkward. Okay, so this is definitely the weirdest steering and acceleration mechanism ever built. Please don't steal my invention. Okay, let's try this again. Ready? Okay, and here we go. Okay, oh yeah, okay, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, the weird handlebar thing was the way to go for sure. This thing is totally sick and we're getting there. Which means we're gonna have a mech suit in no time. Hey Soxus! What? Hang in there buddy, we're making progress. Well hurry up. That's kind of rude. Wait, what? What are you wearing? Uh, a shirt? Yeah, but what shirt? 
It's my Soxus Defender of the Soul t-shirt. Defender of the Soul? That's me! That's a cool shirt! I want one! You can get one on my Shopify store. You're gonna make me buy one? I'm on the shirt! What's a Shopify store? Shopify is an easy to use all-in-one commerce platform. Yeah, they make it really easy to start and manage a business even if you don't have any technical ability or experience. Yeah, and Shopify lets you sell online or in person. Yeah, and across all major social platforms. So what, you like sell shirts or something? Yeah, on my Shopify store, I'm just selling these really cool Soxus t-shirts. But you can sell whatever you want. And someday, I'm gonna use Shopify to open up a big sock emporium and sell all kinds of socks. Millions of entrepreneurs use Shopify in 175 different countries too. Plus, you could use their super cool starter plan and create a simple store in minutes with no code setup. Oh, that sounds pretty sweet. It is. Click the link in the description to start your business with Shopify today. Oh, cool. Thanks. One thing's for sure, this mech suit still needed a lot of work. Okay, so what are we still missing? Well, we have no way to protect ourselves. And it also doesn't have any attacking systems. Okay, so we still need armor and we need weapons. But before I start adding weapons to this thing, I'm gonna work on building some armor. But unfortunately, I don't have anything in the garage that I could use as armor. So I'm gonna have to do something that I really don't wanna do. Take apart one of my old builds. More specifically, my Tesla. You see, my Tesla has this beautiful, luxurious steel trash can finish, and it would be absolutely perfect for protecting me against the tank. And also with this blue barrel too, I need that too. Okay, so what I'd like to do is use all this stuff to cover up the front, and then use this thing for the control room. So the metal will be protecting the bottom part of the Mac, and the blue barrel will be protecting the top part of the Mac. Now this will definitely offer some protection, but the only problem with this is that I can't see anything. So I figured it would be pretty smart to cut out a window. Now this is way better. But once again, my face is now unprotected. So we're gonna take this old piece of plexiglass here and we're gonna cut a window. And then we're gonna bolt it in place right here to keep my face protected. All right, now this thing was starting to look pretty, you know, pretty weird to be honest. And now although the armor's coming along pretty great, I gotta figure out some weapons to put on this thing. Dude, it's super simple. You just gotta press the button right here and it makes the arm punch. That's it. Punching arms? What? No. Oh yeah. Come on, give me it! I need it! No! No! I'll give it back! I just need it for a second! <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna build an arm on this thing that can punch. But if I'm gonna build an arm, I'm gonna need a way to control it. So I'm gonna have to cut a hole in the side of the armor so I can reach outside the mech. Here's what I'm trying to do. I'm gonna put a fist at the end of this stick, and then the stick is gonna go through this tube, and then that tube's gonna go right here. And that way I can reach outside of the mech and control the punching arm. At this point, it was starting to look like the tank wasn't even to stand a chance against the mech suit. Yo, what up? This is Jake coming live to you from the mech. Just quickly reporting that if I put my hand through the armhole and I grab this handle here, I can punch the enemy in the smithereens! <laughs> bam! Bam! Okay, it is time to put on the second arm. For this arm, I've got something a little different in mind. It's gonna be insane. You see, the tank has a pretty powerful weapon that the mech doesn't have. A super powerful potato cannon. So yeah, I think I'm gonna make the second arm a cannon. A cannon arm would make this mech absolutely legendary, and I've built cannons before. The only thing is, is I don't remember how to make one. So I quickly looked up a YouTube tutorial on how to make one, and I found this handsome young man who was extremely helpful. And because he was so helpful, I made sure to subscribe. Subscribe. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Carlini's building a cannon here. What do you think? That'll make a great addition to the mech suit. It's gonna be crazy. Okay, so the cannon is officially done and it looks really cool. And I built this boxing glove missile for it that's also really cool. Where did you get a boxing glove? The boxing glove guy. Boxing glove guy! Hey, boxing glove guy, do you think I could use your boxing gloves for my mech suit? Sure. Wow! Thanks, boxing glove guy! Boxing glove guy. Well, thanks to boxing glove guy, I was finally able to finish my punching arm, which was insane. And also, it made the cannon look pretty sick as well. I gotta try this thing out. Yo! What? Dude, that has so much power. Okay, well, we gotta, we gotta do that again. We gotta do that again. 
literally built a boxing glove cannon that shoots boxing gloves. <laughs> well, now that our cannon is in working order, there's only one thing left to do. Finish this mech, and then finish this battle once and for all. Mech was moving steady and true. To say I wasn't nervous would be a lie, but I knew that I was in the hands of the strongest mech suit ever to be built. And whoever thought they could steal my tank and attack my house was about to get wrecked. Well, it's about time! What? Dude, I've been out here for days! <laughs> I was building a mech suit. These things take time. Really? Really? You needed a whole mech suit? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I did. Dude, I'm out here exerting all my energy. Yeah, I understand that, and I appreciate you doing this that. This is totally overkill. Dude, I've got protection. I've got the punchy fist, the cannon. Wildly unnecessary. I thought you would like... I mean, yeah, it's cool, but I've been risking my life, man. So wait, you're not going to buy a shirt now? What? So you're not going to buy a shirt now? No, I'm still going to buy a shirt. I just want you to be a little more self-aware. Would self you guys stop fighting? <clears throat> Sorry. You guys are a bunch of stupids. Ugh, red dude. This guy is bad news. I, I'd eat mech suits like that for uh, breakfast, probably. I would get back in that tank if you know what's good for you. You guys seem to have this under, under control. Well, it's all been leading up to this. Does this mech really have what it takes to defeat the tank? To be honest, I'm not really sure. I'm kind of nervous I'm going to be destroyed. But here goes nothing. Bro. 